Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video that I honestly cannot remember the last video of this kind that I did and this is a favorites video for the month of April. So I'm just going to be talking about my makeup favorites and then random favorites. I'm trying to keep it more to random than to makeup but I am obviously still going to talk about makeup. But dogs are barking like crazy right now. Whatever. But let's just get on to the video. So first, oh I caught that. First we're going to start off with a foundation and this is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I tried this in August for the first time. Fell in love with it. Used it all and then got a new one and now I'm in the shade C2. Um, I was N1 last time, but now I'm C2. And they made the bottles bigger to me. Which, 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 which. And they made the bottles bigger, which made me so happy because they were like this puny little thing, but now they're really big. And I love this foundation because it's water based and I spray my brush with Fix Plus before I apply it and it just makes it so airy, so light, and such good coverage for the minimal amount of makeup that you need. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know, I just ate a cookie, maybe it's like messing me up or something, I don't really know. Anyway, love, love, love this foundation. Also, side note, sorry for the mess behind me, my dresser's never clean, but my closet is actually clean, so. Next up is another face product. This is like all face except for one thing. And it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Oh my gosh, this concealer. I just spit on myself. What is wrong with me? This concealer, you guys, I cannot rave about this enough. I got it for prom and it was such a good idea by me. So good job, me. I love it. I love it so much. It is so full coverage. You need the smallest amount. It does not get cakey. Um, it's just, it's, on, it's it's the best concealer I've ever tried ever and I've used it in two of my recent tutorials So if you guys want to see it you can click right here because one's up on the screen right now So you guys can click if you want to see it, but yeah, I love this next I've really been into self tanning lately self tanned right now. It's still Processing so it's getting darker as the day goes on, but anyway, um, I have been loving nice being nice and bronze and tan I actually started the month in a tanning booth and then I realized that I don't want skin cancer so I was like, I'm just gonna switch this uh, self tanning. So back to what the actual favorite is. It is a bronzer. Oh my god, there's a huge BF on my window. Anyway, my favorite bronzer right now is this one. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So good. Smells like chocolate. Wearing it now, it's not muddy. It's not dirty. It works when I'm tan. It works when I'm pale. It's just a universal great bronzer that everyone should have. Last product for the face is my highlighter for this month and it is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. I've used this in so many tutorials. I'm wearing it right now. It just gives a perfect sheen, perfect glow. And I will say I like this better when I have a little bit of a tan. I don't prefer it when I'm paler. Um, but when I have a little bit of a tan like I do now, it is just flawless and beautiful and gorgeous. Finally, the last favorite is eyelashes. And I have a really funny story about my eyelashes. But my favorite eyelashes right now are these. They are the, they are the Ardell 120 False Lashes. And really funny story. The other day, this was yesterday actually, um, it was my friend's little sister's birthday. So we were lighting a cake for her. And we were using like little small handheld lighters because they have those in her house. So we were using that to light the candle and it wasn't lighting so then we got like a household lighter to light it. You guys are going to think I'm so dumb and she couldn't light it and I was like well you're doing it wrong because she, like with those you have to, most of the time you have to like hold down a button and then press the thing, you know what I mean? She wasn't doing that so I was like just give it to me so I did it and it still wasn't lighting. So don't do this but I got really close to it and I went like, I was like why isn't it lighting and then I lit it. And it lit, and I kid you not, it burnt the inside of my nose and half my eyelashes off on the left eye. Um, so be careful with lighters, um, especially when you're lighting a birthday cake because it will come off. So I have to wear fake eyelashes now because honestly, like, it looks really bad. Without mascara, you can't really tell, but when you put mascara on, it's like, it's boxy lashes. Like, it's really bad. And <laughs> I didn't know I burnt my lashes until I, I like, woke up this morning and I was like, What's, what's, what, what is that feeling? And my eyelashes were crumbling off because I burnt them last night lighting a birthday candle. So, 
be careful with lighting candles, kids, because you could burn off your eyelashes. So I'll be seeing a lot more of these lashes, the Ardell 120s. I just, I love them and I especially love them more now. Go me. There's a bug right there and I'm not doing anything about it. I keep my windows open so I think the bugs just like come in. Oh, one more bean favorite, like I said, is the self-tanner. I love St. Tropez. Um, and I used both the lotion and the mousse, but I recently ran out of the lotion a couple days ago, so this morning I had to go get the mousse because um, I wanted to try it. And I can say that I like the mousse better so far. I feel like it dries quicker, I feel like it applies um, more evenly, and I feel like it's a lot faster to apply than the lotion is, and I can't stop staring at that bug. Um, but I don't want to touch it. <laughs> um, last beauty favorite is my hair. If you guys don't know, I recently dyed my hair blonde. Um, and I'm loving it. Like, literally loving it. Um, I feel so confident with this hair color now. I feel so good about myself. I feel, every single day when I wake up, I feel really pretty. Which is something that everyone should wake up feeling like. And with brown hair, you know, I felt good about myself when I woke up. But I never felt like I could just take on the day with my hair up or just down and messy, you know, whatever. But with blonde hair, I wake up, I feel amazing. I feel really, really pretty every single day with no makeup on, not showered, you know, whatever. Just waking up, I feel really good. So I'm personally really, really happy with my hair color and I am going to continue to go blonder. I did go blonder a second time. If you guys also didn't see the video where I talk about how I went from black hair to um, blonde hair. I'm going to have it linked right here so you guys can watch that. But um, I did do another step of going blonder and then before I go to London this month, because I'm going for BeautyCon if you guys want to go, I'll have the link for the tickets down below so you guys can come and meet me. Um, but I am going to go a little bit more blonde. We're just going to add some more highlights. At this point we're just adding highlights in um, and I'm loving it. So that's it for the beauty favorites. Um, my food favorite, drink favorite has been green tea. I am obsessed with it. This is the Arizona green tea. Sorry, my legs were really hurting so I have to, you know, switch how I'm sitting and I hope I'm not out of focus or anything, but I'm almost done. Um, let's talk about music because I could talk about music forever. So I just got a Snapchat. I love Snapchat. I really do. My Snapchat is MacUp101 if you guys want to go follow it. It is so addicting to see, like, how many of you guys screenshot my Snapchats and then, like, tweet them to me. And I just love making stories. Like, it's so fun. So, if you guys have Snapchat, be sure to follow me on it. I love, love, love Snapchat, so... Oh, right, back to what I was actually looking for, which is music. Um, I This month has been weird. I've been in like a funk with music because what I do is I get very bored with music really quickly in my playlist and stuff. So I try to listen to other ones and then I just get obsessed with songs and playlists. I listen to them over and over and over again and then I get tired of them. So I've been in a funk with music and I don't really have so many favorites this month. But um, my legs are falling asleep. Okay, so... My Spotify and SoundCloud are always linked down below. I forget what they are right now, but they're linked down there. Um, but my favorite songs are from SoundCloud, and it's in my playlist that's Dope AF. And it's the first one is the 1975 U, and it's the Andrea remix. It's playing right now. So, so good. I used it in a tutorial. Um, it's this one if you guys want to watch it. Um, it was in the very beginning, and so many of you guys were like, what song is that? But so, so good nonetheless. I love it. Um, so, that's that song. And then the next one is a... This one's from my Sorry Mascara playlist. And I love sad songs. So I make it Sorry Mascara because I cry and then my mascara runs. But not anymore because I burn my eyelash off. Anyway, um, this is from the Vancouver Sleep Clinic. And it is Hold On We're Going Home by Drake. But it's the Vancouver Sleep Clinic cover. And it's right here. So... So good, so heavenly. Highly, highly recommend. So that is all for my April favorites. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what other types of videos you guys want to see. Also be sure to subscribe because I upload two videos a week and I'll talk to you all in my next one. See ya.